Surgical interventions are increasing year on year, and a substantial number of patients develop surgical site infections and other incisional complications which pose a threat to patient outcomes. These surgical site complications, or SSCs, can include hematoma, seroma, dehiscence, and blistering. Surgical site infections, or SSIs, can be defined as infections occurring up to 30 days after surgery. Up to 50% of SSIs occur post-discharge. SSIs affect up to one-third of surgical patients and account for 18% of all healthcare-acquired infections. For patients, this means delayed wound healing, impaired quality of life, increased length of stay by up to 10 days, and five times increased likelihood of readmission within the 30-day post-op period. SSIs almost double healthcare-related costs and are associated with 19 billion euros of extra costs in the EU and at least $10 billion in the United States of America. However, 60% of SSIs have been estimated to be preventable. Choosing the right incision management system can help you to reduce surgical site complications, length of stay, readmission, additional intervention, and community nursing resources. Traditionally, surgeons close surgical incisions by primary intention, using sutures, tissue adhesives, or staples. Closed incision negative pressure has emerged as a prophylactic option for high-risk and high-consequence patients. In order to reduce the risk of surgical site complications by reducing incision line tension, decreasing oedema, improving lymphatic drainage, providing a physical barrier to external contamination, and improving scar quality.